Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, a pattern-based family, so some uh, different pattern. Okay, so let's create a pattern-based family first, and then select this uh, tile pattern grid. And so in this list, so today I'm going to talk about the difference between the triangle bent and the triangle flat. Okay, so first select this uh, grid and change it to triangle flat okay so now we can see this uh, there are three points so one two three and let's just create a face okay now uh, we're going to create a, a mass and in this mass family I'm going to just create a reference line a spline through points so roughly draw a spline and then I'll go to side view so which is uh, elevation view and I'll just copy one copy this uh, reference line up and then I'll select these two reference line create a form and then I'm going to just adjust these uh, point a little bit so to make it uh, uh, a little bit more organic shape, so something like that. Okay, now if I select this uh, form, so form, select this form, then divide, divide surface, and then go here. Um, we can we can pick the, the different uh, pattern, but I haven't uh, loaded this family. So go back to this family. And load this into here. So now select this surface again and go back here so you will be able to find this family. So this is the one. So try it's under triangle flat. Okay, so select this and just wait for a second so you will see this is the, the pattern we have. So each individual see this triangle shape. You can tab select one of them so this is this just this one of this okay so now let's have a look uh, why it's called um, triangle flat so select this uh, sur surface and check this one okay and then go to display properties go under surface check the nodes uncheck the UV grid and okay so now you can see these nodes so so this one two three three points and all these lines all the edge of this um, the all three edge of this triangle shape are straight lines so that's why all these face are flat so this is why it's called a triangle flat okay so now let's go back here and select this grid again grid again change this from triangle flat to triangle bend okay so now you can see this one extra point here okay so now let's just create a face from these reference lines again and load this into the project oh sorry not project and the mass so now you can see if you select this surface um, of course it's still family six but it becomes triangle band okay and if you look at this shape um, so if you select one of this shape so let's see uh, let's see Let's have a look. So this is quite um, can't really tell, or maybe from this one. So let's have a look at this one. And as you can see, we th this one, this point, see this point here is the the extra point. But because we use the so one, two, three, four reference line to create this shape, and all these reference lines. Are straight so that's why all this shape is quite interest quite um, interesting 
So actually what I'm going to do is, so instead of, so because in this one, we, we uh, I'll just dissolve this shape uh, face first. And if we, I select this one, so you, you can see, actually there are two reference lines here. So two straight reference lines here. So one is this one and one is this one. So this is why when you know when this one this point change. So I'll just show you. So I'll create create this face again. And if I select this point, go to uh, the side side view. And if I move this point, so you will see this see that this this uh, this face is quite. Uh, I don't think it's uh, uh, what. We expect to. So, what we're going to do is, I'll just move this back. So let, let me just Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, and I'll dissolve this face. And I'll temp, I'll temp, we won't be able to delete this. So see, you try to delete, but no, it's it will be there, always there. So what I'm going to do is, I'll temporarily hide it. H H. And then also this one, HH. So now select this one together with this one and this point and create a spline through point. Then I'll check this reference line. So now instead of have two straight line, now I'm going to select this. This is actually a spline. It looks like straight, but if you if you move this point up, you will see it's actually a spline. Okay, so let me control Z and then select this. So actually if I move your move my cursor here, it will automatically select three of the reference line. Let me check. So click on filter. So that's three uh, reference lines. Okay, so which is good. Create a form, create a face, and then load this into the mass. So overwrite. So just see now it looks uh, better. So at least this is this edge is quite uh, nice now. So this is why it's called uh, tri triangle band because one of the edge now become curved. Um, but still, this this one, this edge, and this edge. They are straight line, so uh, it won't be a very you know uh, nice. Which means this 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 um, face won't match this one because they are always straight. And I think this is this looks quite nice, like um, some kind of um, um, what's that called leather thing. For, for, your fur for some furniture or you can use this as uh, some kind of facade or okay so that's it that's the difference thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye